in all the Pinterest pictures, they look oh, gorgeous, yeah. go, go, beautiful. Just gorgeous, absolutely. And you Stunning. can even grout them with grey or black. We went with white. All kinds of colours. And all you purple. have to do... Purple. All you have to do is form the shower walls and then put the tiles on, right? Simple. Simple. Welcome to the Little Pallet Farmhouse. We homestead on 20 acres of woodland in northeast Missouri. A small wood property as we see it is full of untapped potential. Even though it's often sold off as low value land, we disagree. And so we're here to share our dream with you as we tackle DIY projects around the farm and home to fill our pantry from the land. This is our journey towards self-sufficiency on a woodland homestead. So glad you're here. This is the 30 day journey of projects that we've done on our home and farm time. Yes, getting started with our homestead and at the same time trying to get our- Remodel a house. Yeah. So we're remodeling a house. Well, there's two houses. We have two houses we remodeled. Yeah. Remodeled or remodeling whilst also having animals. Yes. If you really want a stressful life. <laughs> <laughs> Number one piece of advice, do not try and do what we're doing. If you want to make sure you have no money and <laughs> have marriage problems, <laughs> remodel two houses and raise chickens and ducks and chicken and horses and pigs. So the icing on the cake in the bathroom was these gorgeous... No, the shower. I'm sorry, there was the shower. When we were looking at the cost and the plans and design for the farmhouse bathroom, you really wanted to go with one of those molded showers. And I was so against it because I think they're ugly. There's not a lot of choice. They're very expensive. And then in England, they just don't exist. Like uh, you can really tailor your shower to like the tiles and you really didn't want to go with tile. And then your sister installed a bathroom with tile and suddenly you were like, Oh, I think we should do tiles. That's not true. <laughs> None true. of that is true. It's true. None of that is true. I was thinking of a simple, easy solution that would not leak. We thought basically whatever shower you want to make is based on this your pan size. That's the main thing. I mean, you can make a shower whatever, put tile on it. For me, I was thinking, I don't want leaks. And if I, if you do a lot of steps that you could probably find on YouTube, then make your shower base with tile. But an easier option would just find a base. And they're standard sizes. And this is a, a four foot by like 30. I think it's a three by four. So that has to go on first. Uh, when it's all bare studs. When you're just looking at studs, then you can set your base and that just it basically sits on the floor but you're going to do your plumbing for your shower drain and uh, and the shower drain kit will come with a for a two inch pvc schedule 40 pipe for underneath and then i'll get screwed together and then glued into a trap underneath so then when you're all looking at studs now you need to start because we're going to go with tile, and so you need your, some backer board. So, some hardy board, a concrete board, half inch in thickness. So that gets screwed on with screws. Basically, if you're at the store that says tile, then it has a lot of that stuff with it. Secondly, you ready? Okay, you ready? So once you have all your backer board, hardy board, concrete board, whatever you want to call it, all over this, wherever you're gonna have tile, then you have this waterproofing uh, coat, a coating you'll paint on, paint it all on, everywhere, all over your screws and everything. And then you're ready to start tiling. So we bought these beautiful tiles. 
that like this size and six different sides and hexagons hexagon tiles in all light of, in all the pinterest pages they look all of them. gorgeous yeah. Go Go beautiful just gorgeous absolutely and you Stunning. can even grout them with gray or black we went with white all kinds of colors and all purple, you have to do all you have to do is form the shower walls and then put the tiles on right simple so then you get the bag of uh thin set or the uh is it mortar portland it's gonna glue the tiles and that's the wild card you ready for a vertical application make sure the consistency isn't too wet but not too dry because you need to stick so there's a happy medium like a mashed potato consistency so if you can make mashed potatoes you can probably mix this stuff and if you can't make mashed potatoes then you're gonna have to talk to carrie so you're basically saying it would have gone faster if i had mixed the glue no because i taught you how to make mashed potatoes <laughs> So it was three foot deep, four foot wide, three walls, and maybe seven feet tall. I think I did look for cubicles that were that size, but I think at the end of the day, we weren't going to be able to get something for that size and shape that was going to work. Well, it's cheaper to buy tile and tile. It's just the labor. If you're, if you're a tile guy, you, you're going to see all my imperfections real quick. So I chalked a vertical line. I made a, a vertical line. I said, this is, I'm going to go, and I just went, boop, right there. And I, I think I scraped the wall. You might have a video of me doing into the bucket, on the wall, and then you get your sheet of the tile the, with the mesh backing, and you, and then I ran my, my edge on a vertical uh, plum, plum line. So it's supposed to keep them uniformly spaced, right? This netting. But not all the net, not all of them were uniformly set. So if you have one that's further away or closer, and then you set the next one to it, now you're starting to having to manipulate each of these tiles. If one or two of the small ones are off of the of the spacing, then it then it starts to create more problems as you go up, and you're you're fitting a hexagon versus a, a square. So in those moments, you remain. Cool, calm, and composed. All the time. And you don't get mad with your wife or your tools or the tiles. And I went up and I went down. And then you have fun where you have to cut into the edge. So there's two options we did. We had a, uh, to cut the tile because when I got into here, I just had to cut. Uh, uh, I could put a full sheet on, um, we had a thing that scored the tile, but the way the sheets ran, it was every other one was your end. Um, it wasn't a straight line. There was, anyway, I almost had a hold of a sheet, but it, we had a, you, uh, like a paper, is it? A tile cutter? I think that's it. And that worked okay. But sometimes the cut wasn't so good. It just depends. Uh, what I ended up using was a four-inch angle grinder that had a concrete bit, blade on it um, that cut stone. And that worked out pretty good. So I was able to cut a lot of pieces. But it's just a lot of dust and whatnot. So all the cuts happen outside and you just, you're back and forth. So after the tile is set and your all your stuff your, the glue is dry. Wipe the tile down a bunch and then clean it off best you can. And then you're ready to grout. And then we used the white grout, which was Carrie's, Carrie's call. She was nice, as you can tell. Yeah, that gets smeared in the, all the seams. And then you wipe it off a bunch. And then I sealed it with some sealer a couple times. Is it ready to go? 
Besides the mismatched colors, the whites from the same box, the same package, the same number, different Snow White. Yeah, it's really obvious. On the camera, it's really obvious. Yeah. I like to call this the dinosaur. If you stand back and look, you can see a dinosaur here. There's a, there's a, there's a, a more bluish white uh, versus a yellow one. Because you like, you did all this tiling, it was all glued up and it, it was looks set. like shadow, but it's actually yeah. different. It was all set. I didn't, didn't grout it. And I'm standing back here looking and I was like, surely not. And I looked at the, and then, and then sure enough, surely, you can't be serious. Just trace your finger around the outline so I can see. So, right here, this is a, this is like a grayer shade of white. And then it tucks in again. And then here's some like yellows, or a, a paler white. And we go to, this is Lowe's. This is Satori or whatever it was called. Octagon. Same batch numbers, same numbers. All of them matched up. All the same product. All the same product. Anyway, I wasn't tearing it all off. <laughs> Plus, we bought it. So I said, well, we're just going to have to live in two different shades. Gives it character. And that's what we did. Isn't that cool? And then I thought, we need the light. Because we totally need the light. Because we, we did. <gasps> if, we, if we didn't have the light, obviously, this is how dark it would be. Because all the lights around the. The, the little wall here where our sink is. So I was like, we need a light. And there's a fan that'll not up here, but it's around there. And yeah, it's nothing. It works. It works. It works well. I thought this would take one day to set all these tiles. <laughs> and it's like just this wall, this wall, this wall, like three foot by seven foot, three foot by seven foot or four foot. And then anyway, it took like two weeks. I mean, I was working on it like half for three hours of a night. Yeah, so this is after work in the evening. Yeah. And it was right before we had family coming to visit. So we were on like a time, time crunch. crunch. <clears throat> yeah. But we got it done and it looks fantastic. It looks great. And it hasn't molded. No, I better not have. <laughs> and it hasn't leaked. Not that I've seen. Yeah. So it's good. So do you like the shower? Would you go for tile again? I would tile something. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. We hope you'll stick around and check out our other videos on growing food, raising livestock and harvesting supplies from our woodland homestead. Aside from being a source of never ending projects and products, we hope that our quest to shape our place in the world by working with nature and not against it will rekindle a warm satisfaction that comes with relearning old skills and bring back the joy and wonderment of being part of a place where balance brings abundance. <laughs>